What's up? So it's been a long day already. Uh, I had a work meeting about three hours away. I'm back. Just finished an edit. And why are you focused over there? And I have to pack. It's tomorrow. I'm heading over to Austin. And I'm going to hang out for the weekend and do some Austining type stuff and hanging out and shooting some content with Nick Bear and Brandon Campbell. I've been really excited to hang out with both these dudes for quite some time. So now, I got a pack. I got a shitload of camera gear pack. So I figured, why not show you guys what I'm currently used to film my stuff now? We'll go over all of it. I'm gonna run through everything that I'm traveling with and my vlog pack that I am shooting with anytime I go shoot. So tomorrow, leave for Austin. I'm gonna go see Nick, Brandon Campbell, Spencer, Mike Beach, probably some other folks. Should be a pretty good time. But this is stuff that always comes with me if I'm gonna be filming. So basically, anytime I leave, this is my backpack. I've got my number two, Canon 70D. I've got a 18 to 135, pretty standard lens. This camera I've had for a little over a year, I guess, about a year now since the last time it got stolen in February. So this is kind of what I've rebuilt since then. I've gotten rid of a lot of stuff I didn't need because I didn't know any better and kept with what I got. So I don't use any nice lenses because I kind of fucking destroy everything I own. So these are just the standard kit lenses, right? So I've got, as I said, the 70D here, everything seems to still work fine. It doesn't have the little plastic cover anymore that goes over the, the eyepiece. That's been long gone. So this is my backup now. This was my main camera for a really long time. I now shoot on the 80D that you guys are looking at right now. I also have another lens. It's the only telephoto lens I got. It's a 55 to 250. Look at that thing get hard. Whoop, nice, right? Again, super cheap lens, came with the 80D. So I don't ever put lens caps or anything on it. Everything gets fucking trashed. But 70D, I have dropped this thing so many times. It just takes a beating. It's a great camera. Like every other vlogger on earth, we all learn from the book of Nystat. Joby Gorilla Pod is usually what I'm gonna keep on my camera at all times. Works great for doing a selfie. Works great for quick tripod. Uh, I swapped out the Joby Gorilla Pod heads uh, with the ball head onto all of my tripods so I have the same thing. This is my travel tripod. I like it because I can take off a leg and turn it into a monopod. Really nice. And uh, I think I bought this in California after the other stuff went missing. It's really pretty light. It fits in my big bag. This is actually smaller than the carbon fiber tripod that you guys are on right now, which just basically stays in the gym. GoPros. GoPros are awesome. GoPros are an important part of filming now. So I've got a Hero Black, the new Hero Black 5. I really dig. Been really happy with this. I hated the old silver because it didn't have the LCD screen on the back. I know you can add it as an accessory, but I, I don't like fiddling with stuff. I like shit to work. And this one's very intuitive on how to get the picture quality that I want. Battery lasts a long time. I don't have to put a case on it, so the audio is okay if I do need it. Great little camera. I have two sessions. The reason I have two of these is because I thought I lost one. One and two. And uh, now I have two. I found it. Extra batteries. And I bought the GoPro Karma Grip. So now I have at least a little bit of a stabilizer I can use for some different type of shots. It's been a fun toy. It's easy enough to travel with. I bought it simply because the other stabilizer I had from Fayu seemed really fragile. And this one, not so much. This is basically what they got right, trying to put out their drone. Their drone seems like a real stinker. Speaking of drones, DJI Mavic Pro. I love this thing. Picture quality seems to be about on par. It's a little bit more finicky than the Phantom was as far as just the Phantom, you didn't have to set a focus or do any of that or ever have to fight with it. 
This one is a little bit different as far as that goes, but the portability of it, uh, usually I can fix whatever shot and post on color creation, uh, color creation. Battery life's better. The fact that this thing's roughly the size of my hand makes up for whatever tiny, tiny issues that I have for footage. That's a controller. Awesome, and I carry two extra batteries. I think I had like six batteries for my Phantom, and I've never needed more than three. Like three will usually do me a weekend, because the drone footage is great. I, I love it, and it's super fun to do, but you can't do much more with it than just B-roll stuff, right? Like, you're not gonna get to tell a lot of story. It's a great enhancer to a story if you're if somewhere with a cool landscape, or gonna do a follow, or you're gonna be traveling, but it doesn't pick up audio. I can't really, it's really tough to be a main camera so that's why I have it but really great for action stuff sports being outside which I do end up doing a lot of do like a lot of that type of stuff while I'm competing these are two great toys so part of getting good footage and having some options is good lighting these are two loom cubes I can control them from an app as far as if I need to they're waterproof battery life's good and they're super bright with a white light like the same ones I use in my garage so that things don't look fucky kind of that orange light that's like in my living room Try to avoid that. Also got a little tripod mount for it. It's magnetic, so it sticks to anything. Maids of metal. These are awesome, not terribly expensive. Should probably try to figure out maybe a diffuser for one, which would be pretty easy, but all in all, these are great lights. Another backup camera, if I need it, is my uh, EOS M3. It's kind of the first camera I started shooting stuff on. This thing's awesome. I like that I can do a selfie mode with it if need be. Um, Pretty great, just a simple kit lens on there, 18 to 55. Also have the 24, just standard. Have a wide angle and a macro lens. I basically use this to shoot stills now for Instagram, for stuff like that. Last but not least, Rhodes, Rodelink, microphone. Audio is a big component to having a decent vlog in I think it makes a big difference. While I don't use these all the time, typically if I am gonna be doing like a video review, something like that, I will be using these because they make things a lot better and a lot easier to mess with. So I carry them with me in case I'm gonna do an interview or something like that, it's nice just to put it on the table. Then I carry a thing of memory cards, a protector for those things, as well as the adapter so that micro SD cards can get into my computer. So, that's my full load out of gear. That's what I travel with. That's my vlog stuff. Hope you guys like all that. If you're into gear stuff, let me know. I like nerding out about it, but I don't know a lot about it. But I do enjoy it. My home setup's a little bit different. I have a different tripod, and I've got, um, I've got two big lights so that the garage is well lit. But I have a ton of fun doing this. I really like the vlog. I like being able to be creative. I like being able to take some photos. I like getting to interact with you guys and stay making stuff. I feel like I stay sharp. I feel like it's different. I've never got to do this. Cameras were never a thing for me. Neither was video stuff. I do really enjoy this though and like, this is as much fun as anything I've ever done is making videos. So. Hope you guys enjoy. Like, subscribe, share. Apparently you guys need to click that little bell up top for notifications because uh, YouTube just likes to apparently unsubscribe you to a bunch of shit. So check out the channel, enjoy, thanks so much, and uh, spread hate, always party.